In with the East African Legislative Assembly, nine positions there um, have been given to Kenya. Where do we stand with regard to filling those nine positions? Thank you, Michelle. As you well captured it today, is a very a, a day full of uh, activity in Parliament. You already have two issues that are catching that have, that, that have captured uh, members of Parliament attention. One to do with the IAL elections, which will be done tomorrow, which will be held tomorrow morning, both in the National Assembly and the Senate. What is happening is that members are uh, the 25 uh, candidates uh, who was who successfully. Uh, pass that test to be allowed to have their names to the ballot paper are doing the last minute campaigns here. There's really a flurry of activity. Uh, on Jubilee side, we have at least uh, 14 candidates. On the opposition NASA side, we have uh, 11 candidates after uh, two, uh, two candidates, one each from Jubilee and NASA was struck off the register because they were public uh, public officers. So this, the, the, the ballot tomorrow in the election for IALA, it will be 25 MPs and out of these 25, um, Jubilee has five slots, out of which three should be men and two uh, male, I mean three should be male and two female. On the NASA side we, they have four slots which means that uh, three should be male and one one slot be, should be reserved for a woman candidate. So that is uh, the, the, the campaign that is ongoing here and uh, it, is, uh, it is already as, uh, as did happen uh, today there was a parliamentary group meeting involving members, members of the Jubilee side and that particular meeting has uh, from uh, reliable sources had also been uh, uh, was, uh, was a heated m moment because uh, it appears the party leadership wanted to really roll railroad MPs on who to vote for in the list of the preferred candidates. But uh, uh, members in Jubilee, apparently they did, uh, they did uh, say that they'll not be used uh, as rubber stamps, that they want to exercise their independence in choosing those who will join IALA. So it appears for the party leadership, it might be a tall order to convince members on the Jubilee side to vote uh, for those their preferred candidates. The same, uh, the same sentiment is also obtaining in the, in, the, in, the, in, the NASA, in, in the NASA coalition where maybe they feel that the party leadership should not force them to uh, probably uh, elect, uh, elect certain, certain individuals. Members should be given that opportunity to exercise their freedom and independence when uh, choosing those to represent Kenya in the East African uh, Legislative Assembly. Uh, so those are some of the things that we're looking at. And in the committee side also, they, we've already seen that um, uh, there are those positions that are being filled today. And those especially those that, that, have, that have attracted attention to do with the chair, uh, chairman, those will be chairing those positions. Uh, especially in the Jubilee side, there are those feel, there's a feeling that uh, those who will be chairing those committees, especially that, that, that the, those that are not watching the committees, should not be members from either the Rift Valley and or Central, which are perceived to be uh, Jubilee uh, strongholds. And there is a feeling of members in the Jubilee side that those, those, those slots should be chaired by members from other regions that are, don't have that uh, perceived support for, for the government to, to show that inclusivity. So that is one of the things that we're looking at. The other issue that has been looked at is also to do with the composition of the Parliamentary Service Commission. There are those members who have served in, that, in those committees for more than two, uh, two, uh, two terms uh, or two, two, two parliaments, and the, it's a feeling of the members that such members should should not sit in the public uh, in the parliamentary service committee and those identified in this particular committee we have the Aldaz member of parliament Adan Kinan who members feel that it's time he should uh, he should relinquish his seat as a commissioner in the pa parliamentary service commission and there is senator Beth nominated senator Beth Mugo who was also keen to uh, to continue as a commissioner in the parliamentary service commission and members are of the view that uh, she should not uh, continue sitting uh, ch chairing that committee because it's been long and uh, just joining me is uh, the Ruaraka member of parliament uh, uh, TJ Kajuang just to share uh, some of the sentiments with regard to these uh, the issues surrounding especially maybe the election of the members of the East African Legislative Assembly looking at it Tomorrow is the D day to vote for the IALA mem members. I don't know how uh, members in both National Assembly and Senate are going looking at this particular issue. Well, I think the voting of IALA will not be a big problem uh, because um, if you are in chamber today, you would have seen uh, that members have really bridged themselves on most of the important issues. And uh, we fairly know who should go to IALA and, and who shouldn't go to IALA. I think uh, some of the questions we are dealing with are issues to do with uh, gender balancing and uh, regional balancing. Those are some of the issues which uh, we may want to think through today and tomorrow before we go to the voting. But uh, admittedly, I think uh, it is uh, fairly clear from both sides of the divide uh, on issues pertaining to IALA. I, I do not think that is um, something to worry about. I, I, looking at it, maybe looking at it, the party leadership, do you think is it trying to influence whom, whom, whom to elect? Because uh, that that what has come from the, the Jubilee side that okay, there is uh, an attempt to influence, and also maybe the, in the in the NASA in the NASA side, maybe to influence you on whom to vote for. 
Well, influencing is not a bad thing. That is part of politics. Um, you will always find um, the executive trying to, you know, kind of pay debts uh, to those that they favor and so on. You'll always find a party also taking parties also taking positions outside uh, parliament. It is uh, lobbying, which is uh, normal um, in a parliamentary democracy. Uh, and, and so whatever influences that uh, they may want to exert on the House outside there, the most important thing will be when the, when the dice is cast, the voting will be in the floor of the chamber and you'll see it. But, you know, talking about influencing, influencing is not a bad thing. What uh, I find um, uh, just, uh, I, I think, I find it um, extremely un unconce unconceivable that issues to do with uh, committees, this is where, we, this is the right questions to ask. Issues to do with committees, parliamentary committees, should be decided outside uh, the chamber or should be decided outside parliament. This is the problem. Uh, today in the morning, you know that uh, the Jubilee side trooped into State House where the president himself, none other than the president, uh, chaired a meeting in which they went into nitty gritties and petty things who should be in catering committee, who should be in uh, sub member services committee, who should be in PIC and PAC and everything else. Now, this is what is, uh, is, uh, is a problem for some of us who believe in parliamentary democracy. Remember that um, parli parliament right now operates on committees. This is where uh, issues concerning the nations are dealt with. If we are going to lose independence, parliamentary independence, which we have fought for, you remember that parliament is controlling its own calendar, which is fine. Parliament now you cannot prorogue, which is fine. But now parliament finds itself that is controlled from state house or from some other quarters when this should have been the, uh, the, 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 the you, know, you, you know, the things which should be done by the minority leader and the majority leader, and we move forward. Thank you so much, Mr. Matije Kajang. We'll get, get back to you maybe for more details on these particular parliamentary committees, maybe on the top of the hour. But uh, now that is what is happening here. It's still, still early in the afternoon when the session begins. We'll see more of this on how members will go about the business, the business committee. Michelle. All right, many thanks, uh, Patrick and Mimo. They're coming to us live from Parliament. More details of that to follow in our subsequent bulletins. And in sports news, Chelsea.